Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous video, Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa32 V3 GPS question, I had this interesting comment. Currently trying to use one of these boards as a transmitter to transmit when I push one of four buttons to control the GPIO on the receiver. Trying to move some motors. I don't know if I'd hook motors directly to the Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa32. Uh, Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa32 V3 with MPU 6050. Got a similar comment there as well. Yeah, someone from Brazil, possible to example two LoRa V3s, one being the transmitter sending a LoRa signal to the receiver, turning on and off a relay module. They also wanted me to drop in an HTML page. I might revisit it. I'm, this was baby steps for me because I've never hooked a button to the Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa32 and I've never hooked a relay to the Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa32. So I had to work all that out didn't quite have the uh, revs available for uh, a website as well. There, and you, that's the prog button there on the right. That's the transmitter. And you see, there, it trips the relay and the light comes on. Look for the links down below to my GitHub site where all the code's going to be there. You see, I got the baby steps, the pin 45 relay, Helltech prog button, and then the LoRa sender with the prog button, and the LoRa receiver with the relay. Now, the LoRa receiver and LoRa sender sketches, these are under examples. Helltech example, LoRa basic. And you have to have the latest board manager URL for Helltech V3. I'll leave that in the comment section because it gets kind of truncated in the description. But you have to have the latest board manager definitions. Okay, so that's the prog button there on the left, and that's GPIO zero pin. And it says user user button. So I'm going to call it prog button and define it as pin zero. We're also going to initialize this X value. We'll talk about that in a second. Then we're going to set a string TX packet to relay one off. We'll actually wind up using the character array instead of string uh, because that's what's required for the LoRa transmission. Under void setup, we set the pin mode prog button to input. So pin zero is input. Then in void loop, we just do a digital read of prog button or pin GPIO zero. It's normally closed, so if it's open, then x is going to equal one minus x. Well, x is zero, so one minus x makes x into one. And the next pass, one minus one makes x equal to zero. And so that's going to just toggle this back and forth, TX packet relay on if X is equal to 1, or TX packet relay 1 off if X equals 0. Okay, so let's see how we mash it up into the LoRa sender sketch. Yeah, there's our uh, initializing the variables there. The prog button is GPIO 0 and set that X to 0. Void setup, pin mode, prog button is input. Now, we've added this here because I want the signal to be sent when I push the button. So, digital read, prog button, and if prog button state equals zero, then we're going to gauge that value of X and whether TX packet should be relay one on or relay one off. And then we edited out the part if LoRa idle equals true and the, that delay, etc. So, we had to edit out code because I want this to be the driver, the prog button state to be the driver. And I trimmed out some other code there that didn't seem to be necessary for what I'm going to do because I'm just going to send the TX packet and the string length of this TX packet. Yeah, I just added a serial print line and I also had to add a, another bracket because I edited it out up, up above. Okay, so there's four pins that aren't assigned at all on the Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa32 V3. We used pin 45 and 46 before for I to C and for serial communication. So this is what I'm going to attach my relay to. So I'm initializing the variable relay one to GPIO 45, setting pin mode of relay one to output, digital write relay one low, so the relay is not activated. And then avoid loop, I'm just switching it off and on every second. So relay one high, relay one low. 
Let's mash it up into the LoRa receiver code. I've initialized relay one to GPIO 45. Void setup. We set the pin mode of relay one to output and set relay one to low. That's in void setup. Now there's actually nothing to change in void loop. It's on receive done where we got to add the code. And we're evaluating if the string conversion of the character array rx packet is equal to relay one on or relay one off and setting relay one that's gpio 45 to high or setting it to relay one off yeah set relay one low okay so this is the sender side here we're monitoring the serial monitor and yeah, I didn't want to solder pins on my, one of my few remaining V3 boards. I just used one of the existing ones in the case, and that's the prog button on the right-hand side, right there. On the receiver side, yeah, we got receiver relay V2. And of course, we've got that relay attached. You can see ground goes to ground. VCC goes to the 5-volt pin on the relay. And the signal pin goes to pin 45 on the Helltech. Okay, and you can see the program button's right next to that pin 45 there. And we've got this hooked up to a 12 volt strand of LEDs. And we're gonna switch them off and on. Let's get a close up of the relay so you can see the ratings on there. Yeah, this one's straight up 10 amps across the board. You're going to have to, you know, shop around on the relay situation if you have different requirements. This is what I just had off the shelf. Okay, here we go. Well, relay one on, and you see, relay one on is received and the light comes on. You can actually hear the relay. Yeah, that's the relay. <laughs> that click. Yeah. Relay one on, received, the light goes on. This is working pretty cool. Of course, they're right next to each other. I'm just demonstrating this in my living room, but you could have them actually quite a distance apart from each other. Some of the things you could do to improve the code is have the receiver send back a message and have it display on the display of the transmitter what the actual state off or on is. That would be a way to improve the code. Obviously, one of our friends wants to add more buttons. There's, I'm getting you started here, baby steps. Good job. Okay, so look for the link down below for all the code. Yeah, pin 45 relay, Helltech prog button, LoRa sender prog button, LoRa receiver relay. Also have links to Amazon for both of these products. There's the Hi Let Go ESP32 V3 LoRa board. And we've got this uh, relay here. This relay is different from the one I had. The voltage pins are reversed. So make sure you check your polarity. Yeah, that one's rated for up to 12 amps there. Oh, I'm tossing in the link to the case for the Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa 32. It's been working well for me. There's, you know, I'm, I'm still in development. I want to put a bracket for the antenna, maybe make some room for another sensor, but this does hold a 1,000 mAh battery. Okay, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa 32 videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.